Well, all kinds of artistic talent on full display along the streets of Sylvania. The Plain Air Festival is in full swing right now, and it features artists from all over. 13 Action News reporter Lisa Guyton joins us live with the story all new at 6. Lisa. Uh, Lee and Diane, if you drive through Sylvania today and tomorrow, you will probably notice artists and their easels around town. It's part of the Plain Air Festival. It ends with a competition, and you have a chance to buy this artwork. They're painting the town in Sylvania this week, literally. Some of the city's beautiful homes, businesses, and landscapes are providing the perfect canvas for this festival. Artists from all over are working from Main Street to side streets. This is drawing people from Florida, from Canada, from Kentucky, from Indiana, and as well as all over Ohio and Michigan. The term plain air means painting outdoors. It was made popular in the 1800s with the French Impressionists, and it's having a national, maybe worldwide comeback. The artists range from professionals to those who are just getting started. Stacy Kaufman picked up a paintbrush later in life. I started painting in retirement about five or six years ago. Stacy loves being able to avoid the distractions of home life and focus all of her attention on the creation at hand. But this kind of work comes with its own set of challenges. You do your entire painting outdoors. You don't sketch it at home or work on it later. It's got to be done on site and complete. And that's the challenge because the light changes quickly with watercolor. It dries very quickly. The artists work in different mediums and they can do multiple pieces. You can paint from morning till night here and I got three done yesterday. There are plenty of spectacular scenes around Sylvania to choose from. And it's interesting to see the different takes on the same subject. Fran Mangino is a professional artist from Florida. She was one of about a half dozen artists working on a painting of this home today. It's the excitement of getting it done and working fast because you're supposed to try to do it within two hours. And all of the brush strokes end with a competition. I'm just in it to learn as much as I can and I love the thrill of competition so the idea that there's cash prizes is fun too but a uh, lofty goal for being a beginner. The artists have until tomorrow night to finish their work. The paintings will then be on display at the two fine art galleries in Sylvania. Prizes totaling more than $10,000 will be awarded Friday. And once again, you can buy the artwork created at the festival this week, like this piece right behind me. We are going to post a link with all of the details at 13abc.com. Diane?